Have you ever wondered how ordinary people are pulling in astonishing amounts of money using just a few simple tools? Imagine making $38 or even $40,000 with nothing more than a free ChatGPT account and Google Drive. It sounds unbelievable, but it's happening right now. How are they doing it? Let's dive in and uncover the secrets behind these incredible success stories. To begin, head over to ChatGPT.com and create a free account. Once you're logged in, ask ChatGPT to provide prompts that you can copy and paste to generate a batch of images to use as designs for a product. While we're not actually selling a physical product, this step is crucial for understanding a business model that extends far beyond just physical product sales and doesn't involve shipping or any of the typical challenges associated with e-commerce. Next, sign up for an Etsy account. Search for Etsy on Google and click on the sign-in option. The simplest way to proceed is by selecting Continue with Google. Although Etsy is commonly used for selling handmade crafts and various goods, we're focusing on a unique strategy that doesn't involve selling physical products. Once you've created your Etsy account, proceed to set up your shop by choosing Start Your Shop. Enter your language preferences and currency. You'll need to name your shop. Then you'll need to specify the type of item you're selling. We are focusing on selling digital files, not physical products. Therefore, when prompted, select Supplier Tool to indicate that you're offering a digital resource and click. Save and continue. Moving forward, you'll need to provide details about your product. On the next page, enter the title for your item. Next, you'll upload the images associated with your design bundle. Prepare around 10 different images to showcase your designs. For the product description, you can use a description with the help of ChatGPT. Once you've completed these steps, you'll be well on your way to setting up your Etsy store with a compelling and optimized listing. The next step is to leverage AI to generate all the images you'll be selling. This means you won't need to create any designs manually. Instead, AI will handle the creation for you. Revisit ChatGPT to help you brainstorm ideas for your designs. You previously entered a prompt to generate ideas for your designs, and now you'll use the suggestions provided by ChatGPT. For instance, let's say ChatGPT gave you 10 different design ideas. You'll take one idea and use it with a free tool called Leonardo.ai to create the actual design. By pasting the prompt into Leonardo, you can generate a variety of designs based on the concept. Leonardo will produce multiple design options that can be downloaded and included in your design bundle. Once you've generated and downloaded these designs, simply repeat the process by generating additional batches of images. Leonardo allows you to create eight designs at a time, so you may need to run multiple iterations to reach your goal. To build a substantial design library, aim for at least a thousand images, covering diverse themes. Generating a large number of designs using Leonardo can be quite time consuming, as it requires you to click the Generate button repeatedly to produce enough images for your design pack. For a more efficient approach, you can sign up for an account on a platform called Runway ML. Unlike Leonardo, which requires frequent manual input, Runway ML allows you to generate up to 1,000 images in a single batch. This feature dramatically speeds up the process of creating a large design collection. However, there is a cost associated with using Runway ML. The platform is a paid service, and generating images will incur a fee. Specifically, it costs $10 to generate 100 images, meaning that creating 1,000 images would amount to $100. Although this may be more expensive than using Leonardo, the time saved by generating a large volume of designs quickly can be well worth the investment. When you use Runway ML, you'll paste your prompt into the tool, just as you did with Leonardo. Then, by clicking the Batch Generation button, you can produce hundreds of designs at once, streamlining your workflow and allowing you to focus on other aspects of your business. Once you have generated your designs, download them and save them to a folder on your hard drive. An important tip to keep in mind when generating designs using AI tools is to avoid incorporating text in your designs as they struggle with generating accurate text. So it's best to focus your prompts on visual elements and avoid any wording in the images. The primary buyers of these design packs are often sellers who need a large variety of designs but don't have the time to create them themselves. By offering these ready-made designs, you're providing a valuable service that saves them time and effort. Many of these sellers may not be aware of the AI tools and strategies that you are using to create these designs. The next crucial step is to upload your designs to Google Drive. Google Drive is an excellent tool for storing large quantities of images online, and it simplifies the process of delivering these files to your customers. By using Google Drive, you can avoid the hassle of emailing individual files and instead provide a streamlined, accessible way for your customers to download their purchases. 
assuming you've dedicated time to create over a thousand high quality designs and these files are now saved on your computer. The uploading process is straightforward. Start by accessing Google Drive and clicking on the new button. From the drop down menu, select folder upload to begin the process. Next, navigate to the location on your hard drive where your designs are stored and select this folder for upload. The next step is to create a Google Doc that will serve as a delivery document for your customers. This document will be used to provide access to the design files you've uploaded to Google Drive. To get started, open Google Drive, click on New, and then select Google Docs to create a new document. In your new Google Doc, you'll want to include a personalized thank you note to your customers. The purpose of this document is to provide customers with a link to download their purchase files, as Etsy does not support the direct upload of large files. The document should also include a clear instruction, followed by a call to action link. To generate this link, go back to Google Drive, find the folder containing your uploaded images and click on it. Then click the share button and select share again to open the sharing settings. In the sharing settings, change the access level from restricted to anyone with the link. This setting ensures that anyone who has the link can access and download the files. After setting the correct permissions, click copy link to copy the shareable link to your clipboard. Return to your Google Doc and highlight the text where you want to insert the download link. Paste the copied link into this section and click Apply to embed it. Once your Google Doc is set up with the download link to your Google Drive folder, the next step is to export this document as a PDF. This format is universally accessible and ensures that your customers can easily open and view the document. To do this, simply click on Download in Google Docs and select PDF document as the file format. This will convert your Google Doc into a PDF which will include the link to your Google Drive folder containing all the designs. Now, with your PDF ready, it's time to integrate it into your Etsy store. Navigate to your Etsy shop and find the product listing you created earlier. Click on the listing to open it, then select Edit to make changes. Scroll down to the section labeled Digital Files. Here, you'll see an option to add file. Click on this option and upload the PDF you just created. This PDF will now be automatically delivered to customers who purchase your digital product. When they complete their purchase, Etsy will send them this PDF, which contains a direct link to your Google Drive folder. From there, they can access and download the entire collection of designs you've prepared. After uploading the PDF, click Save and continue to finalize the changes to your product listing. Your Etsy listing is now complete and ready for customers. Congratulations! You've just unlocked the secrets to a lucrative, hands-free digital business. Your journey to financial freedom starts here. But remember, the magic happens when you take action. So get started today. Keep pushing boundaries, stay creative, and most importantly, have fun with it. Happy selling. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel with notification turned on so you don't miss out on any new content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.